unless the director has done something to lose the confidence of the producers, my experience is you always service the director. Unless something has happened to fracture that relationship and the producers are no longer um, feeling confident about the director's ability to finish the picture or his, his or her ability to contribute to the musical palette, um, and that does happen where producers and directors at some point during the process have a creative divorce and you're left trying to mediate those two relationships. Um, it, can it be challenging? Absolutely. I've had some incredibly difficult experiences in a room full of producers that didn't like each other and the director that didn't like any of them. <laughs> so it, it, it can be incredibly um, interesting. Uh, I've, I've heard and seen a lot in this world of music supervision, but um, generally everybody has one common goal and that is to finish the project. So very often with producers you can get them to be, you know, you can sometimes get them to take the emotion out of it and be more pragmatic and when you start talking about budgets and explaining to them that delays are going to continue to increase the budget sometimes they're willing to just take it back up a little bit and of course it depends upon really what each party is bringing to the table if you have an incredibly powerful director chances are even if the producers aren't necessarily in love with his choices, he's probably going to get what he wants. Um, same in reverse, if you have a first time director but um, experienced producers, very often the producers will sometimes be the final decision makers. So you really have to kind of know the landscape of the personalities. I, I've actually told someone once, the first meeting you have about music has nothing to do with music. It has everything to do with politics and relationships. 